Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about how and why we use hydrogen peroxide in the planted aquarium. Now it's a great chemical for getting rid of big algae problems like the one behind me. Right, so how does it work? Well hydrogen peroxide will attack the most basic structures in the planted aquarium and for us it's algae. The plants and fish, if you have them, are actually a lot more complex. The structure of their makeup is a lot more complex. So the um, hydrogen peroxide doesn't attack them in the same way it does algae at this dosing level. So if you imagine a plant, the surface of it is going to be attacked by the hydrogen peroxide, but it's not going to do enough damage to kill the plant. Whereas the algae, it really starts to attack. The chemicals eat into the algae, burn the surface, and ultimately kill it off. This does, however, mean we've got to look out for the beneficial bacteria in our filter. So when we do a hydrogen peroxide treatment, always turn the filter off first because we don't want that going back down into the filter and killing that bacteria you've worked so hard to get. Now to treat this aquarium, I'm going to use 3% hydrogen peroxide. Um, now for this dosage in this tank, I'm actually going to go for quite a strong dose. I'm going to go for 30 millilitres for every 50 litres of tank water. So this is a 240 litre tank. Um, I'm going to use 125 millilitres of hydrogen peroxide. Um, it's not quite the full amount, but because of the rock disbursement and things like that, we're going to bring the dosage down a little bit. In the comment section below, I'll put some dosages. Um, so if you're going to try this yourself, you can try it. I'd always recommend starting low, especially if you've got fish in the aquarium, don't risk them. So start with a really low dose and build it up if you need to. Um, my advice would be don't use chemicals unless you really need to, um, or unless you can, like on this tank I can be a bit lazy and use chemicals to try and clean it up. Right, so this is what I'm going to do, there's four steps. The first step is I'm going to turn the filter off. Um, like I said before, I don't want the hydrogen peroxide going down into the filter, so we're going to cut that off. Um, I'm also going to shut the light off because light can stop the reaction or make it less effective at least. Step two, I'm going to measure my dosage out and I'm going to apply it by pouring it into the top of the tank. Step three, I'm going to leave it 15 minutes with the light off um, for the chemical reaction to take place and hopefully the hydrogen peroxide to attack the algae. And step four, I'm going to do my usual tank maintenance. I'm going to manually remove as much algae as possible, wipe down the tank um, glass and clean up any of the rocks or anything like that that needs to clean up. Right guys, it's actually been about 24 hours now um, since I originally dosed the hydrogen peroxide. Some things popped up last night so I didn't carry on cleaning the tank, I've left it. But now I'm going to go for it. So I'm going to manually remove as much algae as possible and then do about 30% water change to try and get rid of anything that's floating around in the water column, column as well. Here we go guys, a week on and I think you'll agree it's looking a million times better. Now all the algae has disappeared, uh, we've managed to kill it off with the hydrogen peroxide. We have a tiny bit of plant damage here so be careful of that, if you get the hydrogen peroxide too close to a plant you can kill it off. It will bounce back but it's not ideal. Um, but other than that, I think you'll agree it's looking fantastic. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Um, I will keep making videos as long as people are watching them. So it's as simple as that. If you like it, give us a subscribe. 
and let us know you'd like it. Give us a comment down below. Like I said right at the beginning of the video, you need to work out what's caused the algae. Um, for me, I think it was the photo period, it was too long, I had the lights on for too long. So I've reduced that by an hour, and like I said, a week on, it's looking much better. I'm going to do another maintenance session today where I clean up the sand and get rid of anything else which isn't great. And uh, I think we're on track now.